politics mm -hmm. is a photograph from election coverage, coverage of political candidates, the January 6th insurrection and other political issues. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I ask a question? Why did P why are POI and BOP still separate? Because it seems like um, after all this time, you know, after that split, it just seems like such a, there's such limited resources and uh, uh, it doesn't matter. We could talk about this later. Can talk about, um, as someone who was there when it got split, um, I can mm -hmm. go into that with you at a later point, but we'll go through okay. these first. <laughs> all right. We are on politics. <laughs> we're on politics so um, true so true <laughs> all right let's keep running through oh god just made me feel stressed <laughs> That's hairspray. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot. That's it? Okay, there was a total of 42 in this category. Um, uh, on a side note, um, I know this hurts you, D, this category as much as me because this is our home, but anyway, <laughs> the January 6th stuff. Anyway, please go right ahead and start judging. Thank you, thank you. Out. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna drink some green tea after this. Out. This, he, this is stressful. This, 
<laughs> uh, out. It's the hair. Um, out. In. Out. Oh, one in? Uh, in, 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 that one in. Keep it in? Yeah. Yes. Out. 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 <clears throat> Out. 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 I see what they were going there with the same hand gestures, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Out. Oh, God. Out. 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 I think I hear three and one. Out. It's out. Yeah. Out. Out. Yeah, that's an out for me too. It's a deep photo though. Yeah, it's good. That's out. 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 I'll say in for this. Feels like a part of a story, like a, a not the whole story. Mm -hmm. This could be in portrait as well. I don't know what she's current. Uh, I want to know what's going on. Yeah, keep it in for now. It, it's a tight, you know, we got the here it's a strong picture like the nails in yeah in. i like the way you look at one way it's like <laughs> is he spraying them he is spraying, spraying. Yeah, spraying the guy like he's looking the other way in in yeah, that's the end for me too in 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 Out. 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 In, I guess. Yeah. In. It's out for me. I need a. Do we have two out. and two? It's out for me. So we have three and one. Okay, it's out. It's almost like spot news or something. Mm -hmm. uh, out. 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 A reminder that January 6th do uh, go in here. Okay. Out. 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 Uh, out. 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 Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, in, maybe. Yeah, keep it in for me for yeah. now. Okay. It's in for now. Yeah. Okay. Mm, in. Yeah. I'll, I'll, mm, I don't really like this composition a little bit. Like, I feel like if they would scoot it over, I mean, I know it's hard. I'm sure it was hard. But I would say in. Yeah, okay. All right, next. Out. 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 In. 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 Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, just, that's actually a real picture. I mean, like, funny. Like, yeah. We don't, didn't see that much of behind the scenes of that guy. I would mm. say out for this one. The out. out. Yeah, out. Man. 
Out. This? Out. It's almost just something like it. I can't, yeah. Oh. I believe it's happened for real, but the, yeah, it's out. Like, it's like, uh, I think What's it's the, just there's not quite enough context in. in the picture. Out. I would say in. Yeah, I need to look at it again. My eye keeps being drawn to stop the steal, and it's like, um, I'm not. The uh, picture to me is over to the right. I see it now. Mm. Kimberly? I said, I said in. That's my, I have two wins, one out. Mm -hmm. I'm on the fence on this one, so we can keep the in for now. It'll be in. And in. in. Is this the last picture? Is that it? Out. 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 This is an out for me too. Out. Yeah, if, I feel like if, if it wasn't that mat, that border and all yeah, that. I, what, what, yeah, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> like it without all of that but, but yeah and i would like to see the picture the photograph i mean the the painting in the background and folks out 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 okay i'm surprised there's not more from other places it was almost all dc yeah mm -hmm. it is I mean, I mean, this is really, I have to say, it's kind of disturbing that there's not more political coverage from other uh, mm -hmm. places in the country. There was so much stuff going on in 2021. This is kind of, mm. really, I think yeah. we should make a note that uh, we need more coverage because that's- well, John, because of the January 6th, these images are so powerful. So it in compared to oh. the regular campaigning and other stuff, it, it's tough to compete against these images. Oh. You know, okay. you know the, the very first picture of the lady sitting in the chair, that was one of my favorite, but I don't think that stands in terms of the the image, you know, that you compete with these. It, it just to me, it's just so unfair, you know? Mm -hmm. I think January 6th should have been a separate category. Yeah, frankly. that's how so, I... Because it's um, yeah. it's kind of like, was such a big event and so unique um, mm. that it it's kind of like when 9-11 uh, or something or mm. uh, the crash, the, the crash in 08, I think was a separate category, you know? Okay. All right. Well, all right. So you you've got it down to um, ten, I think. Eight, ten. Look at me. I'm right. Yeah. Ten. Um, we can go through them again if you want caption or if you want to. I feel like with January sixth, we don't need any captions for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> uh, this guy here. Um, I think they're, gonna, they're probably going to make them. I predict a, a movie is going to be made about this guy here, um, for sure. Uh, it's out for me. Um, I don't really like the the composition on this, to be honest. I agree, it's out. I think there were better moments that we saw, and um, way too wide angle. Mm -hmm. Agreed with Kimberly and Tay. I agree. I, uh, you know, you have to know this guy in order to understand the story behind it. So, I think that's why I originally said that it should be in, but yeah, it should be out. 
What's the story about behind this? I feel like this may have been doing inauguration, but I could be wrong. I don't know, just the light in. Just if you want to give a caption right now, that would be fine. Okay. All right. The caption I've got for this one is US Rep Cory Bush, Democrat of what's MO? Man, I'm exposing myself for not knowing state. Sorry. Missouri. Okay, thank you. So US Rep Cory Bush, Democrat of Missouri becomes emotional during a protest against the expiration of the eviction moratorium outside the US Capitol on August 3rd, 2021 in Washington, DC. Bush has been camping on the US Capitol steps for several nights to protest the end of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's original moratorium. I think the caption makes it stronger. Yeah, I, I would keep it in for this round. Yeah, I would keep it for this for now too. I just, I love that he's looking this way, but spraying the guy. That's a well, I guess he's been like chased. He's been chased everywhere. So. I know. He was yeah. great, though. He was like, okay, this way. I'm going this way. Zap you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I got to keep moving. He's that, I think that's the guy who uh, led everybody the wrong way and stuff. He was, I think so, but I'm not sure. I don't think that's him. It looks is like that not him? Okay. Um, oh, he was good. That guy was cool. This is a no for me. I just feel like they, <laughs> you know, uh, it's just not sharp enough for me. It's yeah, not a, it's not a great, I'm not fighting for it, but it's a fun, I just like, to me, yeah. this goes in the fun, the category, like with all the, with the, the, the funny pictures. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I think right. they're stronger. It's out. Yes. Yeah, I still like this. Yeah, me too. Do you have a caption? All right, the caption we've got is US President Joe Biden speaks with 94 year old activist and retired educator Opal Lee, known as the grandmother of Juneteenth after signing the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act into law in the East Room of the White House on June 17th, 2021 in Washington, DC. That's a, that's a strong picture. Yeah, really I like it. I, I, I like the moments the, the Yeah, it all came together. That's a good picture. Yeah, this is oh, a I can't help but think about like Jack Nicholson. Oh my God, yeah, here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> this this photo is so crazy like it's just so crazy yeah that's i mean in terms of a news picture that's a strong strong yeah news yeah, yeah definitely. you had to be there you got the moment but you know so it's in yeah it's in It's the, the composition for me. I just can't with the top and yeah. I agree. I I feel like I've seen better shots of this too. And I'm like, I thought that mm. I would be better, but mm -hmm. um, and then I don't know where my eyes should go and what I should be looking at. And then I want to know what's happening right down there in the tunnel area. I guess so weird, it's a very weird framing. Yeah, I think this is one of the chaotic situations, uh, but but I think the, the better image is the one inside the uh, Capitol. All right, do I see four? Um, I, I think I have two outs, John. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. I, yeah. Mm. Go out on this one. I don't know, man. What's the um it, again the the composition? I don't. It's not like leading me into the photo one hundred percent. Yeah, I think this is a good informational images, but that there's nothing for me to key on. I have two outs more. I'm out. Come That's out. three outs. We're done on this one. Mm -hmm. so. 
This is the first time I see this. How he yeah, did I never it. saw that. That's so yeah. funny that we, man. Hmm. Is that the guy holding the mirror? Yeah, there's a mirror in front of mm -hmm. him for him to look at it. Yeah, he's getting in the hold this up here. You know, it's a, I, I see, I like it, but this guy right here to the left is just he's throwing me all the way off. It's an outfit. Mm -hmm. Like if nobody was there, if it was just that empty space, you know, Donald and the guy with the mirror. But does he provide more tension, him being there and that look on his face? Like, 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 don't you take this picture? I can feel like more tension with him being there and making that yeah. facial expression. Yeah, I like him. It's like yeah, the handlers yes. who keep you away from the politics, yeah. the real politics of what's actually happening. Yeah. And I like, I like, I, I think it's, it's an end. For me. It's an end for me too. Okay. Hey, yeah, it was an end for me early. Three. Sorry. Okay, it stays in. John, now that you brought up the stop the still, my eye like went directly towards it. But uh prior to that, like I went, it went my eye went to the center. But now it's like you pointed out I can't stop. I can't ignore it. So it's an out for me now because of you, John. <laughs> I do feel yeah, that, like to I, show like, you know people coming to the capital and fighting the police and this has happened on U.S. soil at our capital is just like crazy and I don't even know if we have anything that depicts this in any of the pictures that we've chosen so far so this is the best out of the group I think that we had but that is not a reason to give someone a, an award mm -hmm. but I'm willing to keep it in um, for the layers um, I wish there was a little bit more. I feel like I've seen better. It's yeah, not, yeah, it's not here. Yeah. <clears throat> and this person was so high. Um, lower, intimate, a little bit more intimate. I feel like it would have been a little bit better. <clears throat> yeah, I feel yeah. that um, it just my I, compositionally the the image just doesn't work. The moment is important um but they didn't it didn't rise above yeah i see the image of actually you know of these guys basically tear out the uh, police front line and storm in the capital and i was looking for that image but i don't see it in here mm -hmm. so so that's why i said earlier this one is on the fence for me and and I, and i think i can lose this one uh mm -hmm. okay it sounds like it's an out. I don't really have strong feelings about this photograph for me. I don't either. Me, no. me either. Uh, I did, but it's, I don't know. Like, I feel like they, the guys are, they're not as sharp as that glass. I don't know. Like, they're just a little bit too out of focus for me. I don't know if I'm going blind, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have three outs me, on like, this. <laughs> where I was, uh, my, my glasses prescription was out and I'd be, it would be a problem. So sometimes you have to check them. That yeah, happened to me. A year, it's about that time now. <laughs> we'll move on to the next, this one's out. <laughs> That is the end of the ones that were in. So let me update our contact sheet. You judges are doing great. So um, okay, this is what we have left. Perfect. Interesting. <laughs> oh okay. wow! Look at us going through these categories. That um. Biden is number one with the group to me, for me. I feel like uh, the shooter, I mean, the person peeping, trying to, the, the three guns being pointed at the insurrectionist is number one for me. Yeah, I, I think from a historical perspective, that is, well, Juneteenth is obviously very important, but that's a setup kind of situation. Whereas the news that really was sort of 
January 6th was something historic in a, in a never gonna happen. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I, I do agree with John. That is, is a historic moment there. And uh, yeah, I never, uh, you know, uh, I, I never thought that there, there was a time that we actually faced this kind of situation in our capital. I right. mean, to me, as, as a person who came to this country, this is, this is a totally shock for me. And, and uh, I can relate it to that kind of situation back in my homeland. So uh, to me, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And, and then I, I, I would say that is my number one choice. Uh, and the rest of the other three photographs, I don't have strong feelings for, for uh, you know, where they are. I would go one, then uh, Biden, then Trump, then Corey Bush. Honorable mention. Sarah, do me a favor and put five, four, three, uh, in the way that John says, I'm not saying that this is how it's gonna be, but five and then four on, on uh, Biden, three on Trump, and two there, and let's see, what do you all think? Yeah, I think the Trump one should be an honorable mention. That Me one is, is so intimate, it's so deep. Um, it, it shows um, her being vulnerable, um, but I, I do, I like her style with the nails. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's Missouri, she was the first uh, black um, representative or congresswoman from Missouri, right? Yeah, I think so. And she's from Ferguson, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, Bishop so she Bishop came. St. Louis. Yeah. Well, she, she came. She came into office after, you know, that young man was killed down there, and then with Trump fluffing his hair with hairspray, I feel like that's not as significant or as important. Now, um, the moment itself is interesting, which is why I think it should get honorable mention. But it sh should it rise above um, the uh, the senator or she's a senator? Is she a senator? I don't remember. I don't think she's a representative. Representative, representative sleeping on the steps of the white, I and mean, then crying, you know, trying to get a bill passed is more significant than Donald Trump fluffing his hair with hairspray. The only the reason I would say, yeah, and I, I could go with that. I just think the uh, we saw a lot of years of coverage, and it was like to me that one of Trump is like what's so surprising about it is like we saw so his hair is so crazy like how much he messed with his hair like with always changing colors and and like his sort of the cult of personality and then the lack of what we actually see to make it um it's kind of fascinating to me that um during when he was president I think we saw a ton of Trump, like the propaganda of Trump for all those years, but I haven't seen a picture like that. I wish that the one of Cori Bush, it's so decontextualized that I'm just like, I, that's what's fr frustrating. I don't know where, it's so tight. Um, the tear is wonderful. The moment is great, but I'm like, okay. Where is it? That's my only problem with it. But um, I can go with that. I do think it is very important that, that we highlight um, her. She's great. But I am a little bit, I do like the Trump one. I think I'd still go with Trump. Though. I just think the picture's harder to get. I would go, I'd vote for that. Comments to change again, where we are at or to keep it as it is. I, I, I like the way it is. I, I do like Trump picture is that we know that his hair is, is important. You know, he's not going out there with his hair messing up. So this is the first time I ever seen this kind of yeah. image coming out of it. Yeah. And uh, uh, the Cory Bush, I do like the emotion of it. Uh, 
And, and I think it's lack the context of, of uh, the situations. Whereas the other three photographs, you look at it, mm -hmm. you understood, you know, uh, where they are and what they are. So I do agree with John on that assessment. So what happens when we're tied? Because there's four judges. Are we putting the um, January 6th, number one? Yes. Uh, that, yeah, currently. Currently, January 6th is one, uh, Biden is second, uh, Trump is third, and a uh, woman is four, is honorable mention. Should this be changed? I see the argument for um, why the, the portrait, of, the photograph of Cori Bush, because it's politically, it lost context. I had, even, I didn't even know that was her. And then you don't even know if she's on the at the Capitol on the steps. Um, I don't, I don't think necessarily it was like a, a, we don't know. Was it a press conference? You know, what, what was happening with that? The photographer just went out there to document her being on these steps and she starts crying because they're announcing the eviction bill was it the home eviction bill i don't know so in that case the fact that there are so many questions makes me think that maybe it shouldn't be third place but i still have really um strong reservations about putting a man's hair over um <laughs> <laughs> somebody, people like possibly being evicted from their homes in the passion that the representative feels towards that, so. But, um, yeah, it just, uh, I mean, for this, for Trump, it, to me, what it reveals about, it's not really about his hair, it's about what it reveals about, what it reveals about who we elected and what it has shows about artifice and about, you know, the state of, our country at this point. Both of them do. I mean, that's what's really interesting. Both of them are together are, power, are very powerful. All three are really interesting. It's, you have, you know, uh, January 6th, Juneteenth, called the personality, and, uh, you know, this amazing historic moment. Um, so I, I think they're, they're, that these are strong choices. No matter where they go, the the four that we picked are very strong. Yeah, I feel like Corey definitely should go over Trump. Um, I understand the uh, the point about the hair. However, I mean, he was a celebrity before. We we could pull up so many different, I think, clips of him, um, you know. Doing his hair? Doing his hair. Like, that's not significant for me when it comes to Trump at all. Um, as far as the Juneteenth situation in January 6th, um, I, I, I don't, I just feel like the Juneteenth situation is, uh, should be number one for me. Um, number one is the, it's the actual photo, the composition, the lighting, the colors, all of that. And then you have this white president who is acknowledging, you know, Juneteenth and making it, you know, a federal holiday. Um, and then you have, um, a sense of hope and compassion, um, from this this president and this is all uh coming you know in the heart of like you know 2020 uh what was going on you got to think about during those times that was a very historical era time as well um as january 6th as far as january 6th i know like uh, earlier it was commented that nobody really saw it coming for someone that was on the front lines every single day i saw it coming it's nothing new it wasn't i wasn't surprised at all by that um, here in DC, like we, it was brewing. We knew it was gonna come. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So it's we're looking at that's, that's, sure. that's my best. I, I hear you on those. I just, I just think like, you know, from a perspective of like, I definitely agree. Like from looking at the photograph, like the moment, the composition is much more beautiful. Um, it's an important historic moment, but if there's one day, whether you saw it coming or not, that January 6th was a, a marker in history that, um, 
you know, it's it it's definitely something unique. And I think that year, that that picture is 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 vital. Um, I'm not in love with the photograph. Uh, it's more just a matter of like what that image represents, and that's why I would vote for a number one. Uh, the other one, Juneteenth. Number two, Trump. Number three, I, I, and Cory Bush. I'm, it's too decontextualized for me. It's just I can't. It. I don't understand where it is. What's happening? So I we had to read the caption to even know what's happening. Other than someone is upset, whereas the other three we could really understand. There was some real connection. You could read the picture, but with that one, I can't understand it. Um, unless I read the caption, and that's a problem for me. So we're, um, again, I ask, are we leaving it this way? Or are we moving it, um, the, the last two photos? We're, we're assured on the first and the second, so I'm, there's no problem there. I'm good with the, uh, the, the way it is there. Uh, I, I, I do think the, uh, uh, the capital picture is, to me, it is important from the perspective of how I see it and how I relate to it. Uh, you know, the freedom is, is, I think, sometimes we take it for granted. Uh, to me, this is uh, rooted deeper for me in terms of, of uh, uh, understanding it and how I value it. And I feel even though I wasn't born in this country, but I, I, I do feel that that my freedom is being, being, being uh, taken away. Uh, and the capital is represent for that. What, that's what the United States represents. And I do feel deeply on for that. And it's a historic moment. The Juneteenth, uh, I do love the conversations, uh, you know, everything in that. And uh, the only difference is that that is a, a moment, uh, it was there. It, it, it's a set of situations, uh, you know, so the difficulty of it, it is not there, so to speak, versus the, uh, the, the capital pictures. And, and, you know, like John said, Trump is not about the hairdo, but it's about who he is, what would the time frame we were facing. And, and you know, uh, I do love the picture of Cory Bush, but I, I do agree that I would love to, to see more to it than just, just the tear. So I like the way it is there now. I'll leave with this and I'll, you know, let you guys do what you do. Um, but when we're comparing like Juneteenth and also January 6th, as far as the historical aspect of it, the point of Juneteenth was to celebrate the freedom of all slaves. And to me, that is, um, that is extremely, extremely, extremely significant. Um, and the fact that um, we're acknowledging that on a federal mm -hmm. level and making it a federal holiday, um, to me is a lot more you know, important than uh, January 6th. When it comes to we're us acknowledging you know, black people rights and all of that stuff. Um, and as far as the Capitol, especially when we're talking about Juneteenth, the Capitol, which was also like built by slaves. Um, that's like where I'm coming from as far as like that picture of the celebration of Juneteenth and like that making it a federal holiday, making it whereas though everyone have, has to stop and acknowledge that day. Um, like that is a lot more historical as far as uh, January 6th. Um, yeah, that has, just thinking about like me being on the front lines while that was brewing, like that was, that was, that was coming. Um, and the Capitol has been taken over before, so. It happened before, um, so yeah. So that's just where I'm. That's like what I see. I, 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 I get. I, I hear that completely. I just think I agree in that. <clears throat> I think they're represented very important, important historic moments in different ways, and um, yeah, you can argue it both ways. I, yeah. I can see it both sides for sure. I mean, I feel like January 6th across the board, 
Like January 6th gets so much more acknowledgement than even the 2020 protests. Um, and, you know, even with this, you know, Juneteenth photo, um, and I've just been seeing that just across the board. So like you put up a January 16th um, photo um, and you put up a 2020 protest, the January 16th photo is always going to, for the most part from the pattern that I'm starting to see in our industry is going to surpass um, that. And I think that part of that is because of, you know, with our industry, like it's, it's kind of like that war, you know, um, like mentality, like, you know, like, I don't know, like we're just drawn to like anything that has to do with like war or like, you know, rebellious acts or anything like that. Like, I, I don't know, like I'm just starting to see that pattern across the board with January 16 photos. It's just getting so much acknowledgement, so much more coverage than, you know, other things as well. And to be honest, that could have been a lot more avoidable. Um, but that's just like, that's just from my speculation. All right, I'm gonna bring this around that we're looking at pictures now and 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 let's, we, we should possibly leave out the politics, no pun intended of this. So we're looking at the pictures themselves and we, we, we need to make a decision on first, second, third, honorable mention. <clears throat> Why don't we do a vote for each picture, oh. like what we have for first and see then maybe we can move forward from there. Okay, so right now we have the June 6th picture as the first. Um, in Dang agreement? I'm agreement first. Me too. First. Okay, that's three of you. Um, we'll go to Juneteenth. The, um, that's a second, is there, should it be? And, and I guess from what I've taken, D, you want that first, but the other three are saying it's okay a second. I, I like that they yeah, asked second. I vote for Juneteenth second. And I'll just say the reason why I, I'm doing it is because like, if they didn't pass Juneteenth as a national holiday, like if it didn't happen, what would happen? What would, what would it be like if, and then if, if this, if the insurrection went differently and they were able to get into that room and get the the senators and the Congress people that were in there, it would have been totally different. So like the level, so to me, that's that needs to be taken into consideration, you know, a national holiday versus what if happened? What if <laughs> these people were actually allowed to get in there and there weren't people protecting them with guns? And like, this doesn't happen every day. And getting the Juneteenth bill passed was a big deal, national holiday. Um, not talking about the politics of it, but I know plenty of Black activists that don't care about a Juneteenth holiday, personally. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not one of those people because I celebrate, I'm from Texas, so <laughs> I plan on going to Galveston this year and celebrating, so. Um, but that's my, that's, I just wanted to add that in there for context for why I, I voted the way I voted. I'm still believing that Cory Bush should be above Trump's hair, though. So I think that might be the split where we might have some issues at. I think what we're down to is the last is between third and HM. Yeah, I I, I feel like Trump should go last. I mean, it's hair. And I, I have respect in everything that uh, and understand what John was saying. And uh, even in relation to Cory Bush, like context, you know, context is key and to have that tight photo it works for a photo story or whatever you're doing but or even for for the news for the daily or whatever but if you're entering into a, a political single contest and you just give this this tight image sometimes that can work but for that for this it does not it does not really necessarily work but at the same time uh, if you're looking at the photographs it's still very powerful you know you have this black woman she's crying she has these fabulous nails. I mean, all of that is information and context. And then she, to know that she's a representative, a US representative, and she's fighting for people's home evictions, that makes it more powerful. Um, with Trump, I, I get the symbolism and I understand, um, like to see this moment was very rare. And then you could see like 
the tension in the photograph of even being taken, but I still don't think it rises above personally. Not it, not uh, and if it was stronger, like uh, composition wise, you know, then maybe I would have been like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's not that much stronger, so. I mean, the, to me, it's very interesting because you have all these forces playing these images. And it's like, in a way, you know, because we talk about the insurrection, what people are, was it a coup, attempted coup, right? Like, that's, and was it led by Trump? Was he in on it? They're still investigating that. So I really, I really feel like it's, to minimize that. It's like the way that, uh, I feel like the way that, there's like the way that people looked at the president and then the reality and part of the country. So I still vote for number three, I'm not changing. <laughs> John, twice you put me on the- uh, Hey, I'm-, I'm <laughs> I was hoping you are the one who the swing vote this time. Um, you know, here, here's here's my two cents, and then I'll go with uh, whatever needed to be. You know, uh, the way I look at these contests is so subjective in a way, and depends on uh, your background and your belief. It will alter your decision in some of these images. Uh, I'm speaking from my own experience here. And, and I think at the bottom or at the end of the day, our objective is to pick the best photograph uh, and not into the politics of it. Uh, and I, I just like to say this once and that would be the end of it. So I think in the spirit of debating, uh, we should uh, think about the, the, the images and the photographers who made these images. And, uh, uh, and then I think we should try to leave the politics out of it. So that is be fair to the photographers and be fair to the images that we are looking at. Uh, because I think the further we debate in it, the further we go into it, I think we are venturing into the uh, territory that I don't think none of us want to face. And, and so, uh, in that spirit, you know, I am, uh, uh, to be honest, I, I don't really care for neither of those two pictures. And, and since I was hoping John would be the one who changed his mind because that's where he feels the strongest, but he is not. So I'm going to uh, switch gear on this one to go with the ladies so we can move on. Great. So that would mean that... Um... Corey goes third and Trump goes honorable mention. Um, is anybody going to storm off and hate because of this and no longer judge or are no. we all in agreement on this? It's all, I think it's, that's fine. It's just, I think that when you have the three images you're talking and then, yeah, it's fine with me. I, I get it. All right, I'm going once, I'm going, going twice. twice. Boom. That's it.